Today's topic is the cardiac cycle. The cardiac cycle describes the series of events that occurs during a complete heartbeat, the contraction and the relaxation of both the atria and the ventricle. The atria serve to receive the blood that enters the heart and passes it to the ventricle. One cardiac cycle is completed when the heart fills with blood and the blood is pumped out. The phases of the cardiac cycle are two. The phase during which the heart muscles are relaxed and fill with blood is termed the diastole. The other phase, where there is a contraction and blood pumps out of the heart to the arteries, is termed the systole. As the heart beats, it transports blood to the circulatory system of the body. The cardiac cycle is vital in the proper functioning of the cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system is made up of the heart and the circulatory system. They transport nutrients and remove toxic substances from the cells in the body. The muscle needed to pump blood throughout the body is also supplied by the cardiac cycle. The following describes the event that occurs during a cardiac cycle. At the beginning of the diastole period, the atria and ventricles relax and the atrioventricular valves, or AV, open. The oxygen-starved blood returning from the circulatory system passes through the vena cava, the two largest veins in the body, into the right atrium. Simultaneously, the oxygen-starved blood returning from the circulatory system passes through the pulmonary veins and fill the left atrium. The open atrioventricular valves aid the unstrained flow of blood from the atria to the ventricles. The motion from the synotrial node, known as the pacemaker of the heart that coordinates contraction, send waves that trigger both atria to contract. The contraction spurs the right atrium to empty its content into the right ventricle, and at the same time, the left atrium empties its content into the left ventricle. The valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle, the tricuspid valve, prevents blood from flowing back into the right atrium. The valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle, the mitral valve, prevents blood from flowing back into the left atrium. These processes are called the first and second diastole period. The systole. During the systole period, the right ventricle fills with blood transported from the right atrium. The left ventricle also fills with blood transported from the left atrium. Fiber branches carrying electrical impulse sends impulses to the ventricles, causing them to contract. This causes the atrioventricular valves to close. The semilunar valve, located between the pulmonary and the right ventricle, and between the aorta and the left ventricle, opens. The contraction of the ventricles allows oxygen-starved blood from the right ventricle to be pumped to the pulmonary artery, and oxygenated blood in the left ventricle is pumped to the aorta. The pulmonary valve, when closed, prevents blood to flow back to the right ventricle. The aortic valve, when closed, prevents blood to flow back to the left ventricle. The pulmonary artery carries the oxygen-starved blood to the lungs through the pulmonary circuit. The blood picks up oxygen in the lungs, where it is then transported back to the left atrium through the veins. The aorta serves the oxygenated blood to all parts of the body. After its tour through the body, Oxygen-starved blood is then returned to the heart through the vena cava. These processes are called the first and the second systole period. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.